And then I thought, oh, here we go. Here we go. Do you ever get the feeling that that perhaps you should actually get more and more involved in emulation and 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 not bother with all these retro uh, consoles because you know they are going to be prone to failure and I've got another failure guys apart from myself I've got another failure I was watching 16-bit um, uh, Griff 16-bit Griff 16-bit Griff's video uh, recently they put up and he just acquired or reacquired a, a PC Engine Core Graphics 2 and a Super CD-ROM 2. I've got one of those setups. I have got numerous uh, uh, PC Engine consoles. That's one of the console setups I've got and actually it's one of the PC Engine consoles I've actually got here in, in the gaming room. Um, I have a fair bit of stuff that's upstairs in the loft and in the garage and so forth. After seeing his video, I thought, oh, I'll just fire up my Super CD-ROM 2 system and uh, and uh, and just check it's all right. I don't know, I just had this weird sort of feeling, I suppose, that um, all wasn't going to be well. And, uh, and that feeling sort of paid off, if I'm being honest. Uh, the Super CD-ROM and the core graphics, you can just see just down there it's just there that where's my finger there there it's just there um and now it all work well it it works as far as the picture yeah there's a picture so i know that this that the core graphics 2 is working and i i i think i mentioned in a previous video that i had a problem with this this core graphics 18 months ago or something where one of the ram chips went so i had to replace the ram chip on it um uh, which i think is quite unusual actually but anyway um yes yeah, so we've got a picture of everything but actually when i fired it up it was uh it was extremely low sound. And I thought, oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, and I uh, I unplugged everything, uh, disconnected the core graphics too, and just uh, plugged that straight into uh, the CRT and threw me amp and all that lot. And that was absolutely fine. So using the onboard uh, sort of pass through, even even with a HU card, uh, forget about a CD-ROM, um, it's it's extremely low. Now, I'm not sure whether you guys are gonna pick this up, but uh, I will turn the volume up in a second, and it, it's, I must admit, it's not as low as what I thought it was, actually, when I first heard it, but it is really, really scratchy. Um, and it sounds like it's clipping, so I, I, I'm pretty sure the caps are on the way out on the on the amp stage, which is actually pain in the ass. But now the actual game that's playing is Lords of Thunder, and it was the only game that I had to hand here in the game room. That the only CD-ROM that I had to hand, Lords of Thunder, and. I just thought that I'd have a quick. I, I don't do this. I've stopped doing this. Well, wow. apart from just doing it just now, but I don't, I don't normally do this now. Um, uh, but I quickly went on eBay. I just thought, well, I'll just see how much that's going for now. Some scalper on eBay. There was only one copy. Yeah, you know, there only appears to be one copy available on eBay at the moment. The guy wants two hundred and twenty-three quid for it. Two hundred and twenty-three pound for Lords of Thunder. Lords of Thunder. Two hundred and twenty-three quid absolutely mental um i would i would hate to go through my collection and start looking to see what stuff's worth because i might end up selling it all no i wouldn't i wouldn't um but yeah 220 quid i don't even know what the rare games are to be honest on the pc engine nowadays not on the cd-rom format but uh, yeah so that's the game that's playing there you can see that so uh yeah i've got another busted another busted PC Engine console. Can't believe it, can you? They must be fairly weak consoles, to be honest. I mean, they are quite old, admittedly. They are quite old. But I'm not actually sure. 
I can't be asked, as with the L2, I'm not sure I can be asked uh, uh, to rip it open and um, and replace the caps on it. I will do it at some point when I'm really, really bored, but it's certainly not something that I've got a, uh, I've got a draw and enthusiasm to do now sort of thing. But let's just turn the volume up and you probably hear that. Now hopefully you can pick that up on the mic. That sounds gash. It almost sounds like a, a like a channel's blown. If I just turn up to, I've got a lot of interference as well. I, I must admit the cabling, the RGB mod I've done on that isn't the best, isn't the best thing I've ever done. I don't think I need to re uh, rewire it anyway because the. Uh, hear that. That's that shit, isn't it? Mega shit. Ooh, look at that interference, mega. That's mega wiring quality, that is. I need to sort that out anyway. So, um, I'm sort of tempted to take it apart now, have a quick look at it and just see whether or not I want but it, it yeah, it's not going to be a water come off, is it? I mean, it's just not going to be. That is knackered caps. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure of it. But like I said, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't got the inclination at the moment to actually go through and um, and replace all that stuff on it. So uh, that'll be a, a project for another day. Uh, but I will actually do a video on that. And once I start that process off, and um, hopefully it'll work. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So guys, I just thought I'd tell you about uh, some other misfortune of mine. I didn't fire up any other PC Engine console now. I really wouldn't. I, I just wouldn't because it's bound to be knackered. I, I'm just, you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll speak to you again soon.